Welcome back. From August 24th to 27th, the country's biggest art galleries will gather to promote Philippine art. But this year, it takes on a more serious note and promises a more diverse and vibrant art exposition, highlighted by musical and dance performances by some of the country's best talents. Now, here to tell us more about Manila Art 2011 exhibit is the project director, Delan Rubilius. Good morning, Delan. Hi, good morning. Paul. Tell us all about Manila Art uh, 2011. It's a clever title, by the way. <laughs> well, actually, uh, this is the third Manila Art. Mm -hmm. uh, We've been running for the past three years. Uh, this is uh, funded by the uh, National Commission on Culture and the Arts okay. and uh, Bonafide Art Galleries Organization. Mm -hmm. So we're going back to NBC Tent this year. Okay. Um, featuring, uh, we will be featuring uh, works of various artists. Mm -hmm. Actually, this year, it's kind of different because we've encouraged the exhibitors, the galleries, to conceptualize an exhibit okay. for for this year's event. So when you go to Manila Art, mm -hmm. you'll be experiencing 24 openings, art openings in art exhibits in, in, in one night. All in one. Okay, talk about sensory overload there. Yes. Uh, but I mean, uh, over the past, you're saying this is the third uh, yes. year that you guys are doing this and uh, you say that this year it's going to be a little bit different. It's, it's going to take on, uh, we said, a serious note. Uh, what exactly will make this year uh, a little, will set this year apart from the previous years? Well, because um, this year, like what I have mentioned, we've encouraged each gallery to conceptualize an exhibit okay. so uh, unlike the previous years uh, some galleries would just um, bring out the the artworks from probably that their, their have, storage right? uh, that uh -huh. they have available artworks mm -hmm. that they, ha they mm -hmm. have but this year it's really going to be a concept for for each ag uh, each gallery like right. for example uh, this year you'd be seeing uh, digital prints okay. uh, limited ed uh, di edition digital prints by uh, Elmer Berlongan, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see an interactive booth mm -hmm. uh, of, 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 uh, of uh, looking for one, and okay. then uh, you'll see other you'll see other artworks mm -hmm. like uh, um, uh, Dominic Rubio, June Balasbas. Right. Uh, then we have there uh, a, 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 an avant-garde artwork by J.P. Quizon. It's called Marilyn Rizal. Oh, okay. And then you'll it's also sort of, uh, very. Uh, <laughs> Warhol meets yes, uh, yes. Uh, an and then there. we we have uh, the artwork of Sarah Gogler mm -hmm. presented by uh, Gal Gallery Big, and then we also have uh, art toys uh, presented by Secret Fresh. Okay, this like, is sort of a, a new uh, branch. Yes, uh, yes. So this is actually uh, color the Color Bringer series by mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bjorn Calleja, uh -huh. and then. Uh, uh, Secret Fresh Gallery will be doing demos and, and, and lectures. JP okay. Quizon, I think, will be giving a lecture on uh, on the new trend, the art toys. The art toys. Yeah. Well, this is interesting because, yeah, you're taking uh, images and themes from uh, two-dimensional uh, works and turning them into yes. three-dimensional sculptures, sculptures yeah. which, which are collectibles and art toys yes. uh, in their own we, right. We, we also, uh, I forgot to mention, we also have the artwork of uh, Farley Del Rosario in front. We've actually uh, commissioned uh, uh, six art, young artists, Farley Del Rosario, Mark Arcamo, Daniel Aligay, and Ruel Obemio, Palma Tayona, and uh, Anthony Fermin. That's excellent. I don't yeah. see, even see you reading from a Código there. You got all their names <laughs> in your head. Yeah, that's, that's we, we, we commissioned them to to uh, make artworks. Actually, those artworks, those yeah. masks will be part of the raffle also. Okay. Uh, what raffle? What raffle uh, are you There's going about? to be an art okay. raffle. Uh -huh. uh, so visitors will have the chance mm -hmm. to win uh, artworks, artworks. Uh, d during the during the event. Okay, so this is this is really something for art aficionados, people who are interested in art. Um, is it? Can you? Is it just an, an exposition? Can people buy the art? Can, how does it work? Yes, you can actually buy the artworks during the exhibit, mm -hmm. but we're encouraging the collectors, the right. clients, right. if they can actually wait for the, the exhibition to finish, finish? Okay. before they claim their artworks mm -hmm. from the respective galleries, right. so that the everybody the exhibition chance, will be will will not be interrupted. Right, and everybody has the chance to appreciate. Because uh, yes. I mean, they, like you said, they they are themed uh, little pockets from yes. each of the galleries. So but when, when I heard. I also heard that some galleries are doing some um, 
uh, non-selling exhibition, mm -hmm. you'll probably be able to purchase the artworks from their galleries okay. after the after the art fair. All right. Now we did mention that uh, the art fair itself is not limited to the visual arts. There are yes. going to be uh, musical and dance performances yes. uh, during the fair. Yes, during the gala, uh, the gala night, mm -hmm. uh, there will be performances by uh, modern dance. Uh, 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 premier modern dance uh, artist uh, Myra Beltran. Right. We have also invited uh, uh, the the ethnic modern um, fusion uh, music fusion by Banda Malaya, and okay. we've also invited the award-winning Fatima Coral to grace the the event. So it's actually. Uh, merging the different sister arts right, together right. In, 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 in one night. After all, uh, I, 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 I guess you, we've been experiencing so many discourses the past days right, about right, art. Right. It's uh, uh, very timely, actually. Yes, so, but uh, <laughs> I would like to believe that art, uh, uh, art uh, provokes, art mm -hmm. awakens, but art sh can also unite. So. Right. Uh -huh. uh, well, ultimately, that's what we want uh, art to do after some intelligent discussion yes. obviously um, uh, leading up to the, the art fair uh, itself there are some activities uh, particularly uh, related to uh, one of your partners in Mercato uh, I believe there are some sketching lessons yes and, and uh, as a prelude to the Manila art the actual event uh, mm -hmm. we're doing live ske uh, sketching sessions mm -hmm. at Mercato Central right. every Saturday okay. from 10, 10 to 2 p.m. they can uh, visit the website and mm -hmm. check the schedule okay. and then and, and at the Manila Art we also have some uh, lecture series okay. we have uh, Dr. Oscar Campomanes mm -hmm. uh, and uh, attorney Jigu Alampay discussing about uh, semiotics and visual arts and, right. and art how to turn uh, bicycles into art lesson okay. in art law okay. and uh, IT okay and then we also have some children's book readings by uh, Republica Executive Director Caris Escueta and we've invited uh, VJ Chino mm -hmm. of Mix to also do children's book readings because Excellent. we well, uh, that's also one of the reasons why I would like to believe that the Manila Art this year will be different because I encourage uh, the, the, the organizers to cater to the new generation of art fans okay. so the children's will be given the children will be given uh, an activity, uh -huh. the children's book reading, and then arts, art, uh, basic art drawing by uh, by artists in residence. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll do, they'll do, they'll teach the, the kids there. So there, there's going to be a, lo a lot of activities, a lot right. of in interaction. Okay, so but, but I mean, this is something that you you can bring your kids to, or uh, you want them there on a particular day, or I mean, are, are some of the artworks uh, well, every, sensitive, or you know? Yeah, well, yeah, I, I would, I would. Uh, well, you can bring the kids definitely, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm sure the galleries will have their people there to to guide the parents. Okay. But uh, <laughs> since the lecture that we have a lecture room actually, mm -hmm. so it's uh, it's it's a separate it's uh, separate uh, venue for mm -hmm. a separate space for the, the kids. So um, they they'll they'll, ha they'll do the readings there, uh -huh. or the children's book reading, and then because the the children's book that will be featured there will act are actually uh, also. Uh, 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 you'll see images of the artworks also. Right, right. So we also have, I forgot to mention, Vim Nadera will also do a lecture on Rizal. Excellent, excellent. So really something for everybody and, and so many different areas of art as we know yes, it will, yes. will really be addressed. Yes. Uh, so for people who want to, to take part, uh, can they just show up? Do they need to get a ticket? How does it work? Um, well, the gala event is by invitation mm -hmm. only. Okay. Uh, but Manila Art 2011 will be open to the public uh, from August 25 mm -hmm. to August 27 at the NBC tent. Right. Uh, it, it's open from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. They can purchase the tickets there or they can visit our website at www.manilaart.com and check out the the schedules of the activities, the lectures, right. so they can register. Excellent. Well, there, there hasn't been a better time to, to understand and appreciate art. Uh, yes. Thank you so much uh, to Delan Rubilios, the thank project you. director of Manila Art 2011, for coming in and sharing uh, all these artworks thank and uh, inviting much, us uh, to, to uh, the event itself. Good luck. Thank you very much.